See if you can find the hand, the arm. This delivery may be simulated, but it will likely save the lives of thousands of women and children. That's because giving birth is one of the riskiest things a woman will do in rural Zimbabwe, a country with one of the highest maternal death rates in the world. The fact that most of these deaths are preventable is alarming, which is why Health Partners International of Canada joined forces with the Zimbabwean church-related hospitals and the Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada to do something about it. The Alarm International program, developed by the SOGC, is a training and mobilizing tool for local health professionals, like midwives, nurses and doctors, already involved in emergency obstetrical care. Sinclair Harris is a retired midwife who is instructing others how to deal with the often unforeseen and deadly emergencies that can arise during deliveries. You learn by doing and I think I'm quite a good hands-on teacher mm -hmm. um, and really enjoy the, the process of the alarm course with the, the hands-on parts of it, understanding, okay. transmitting knowledge from head to hands. Participants take part in simulations addressing the leading causes of death in childbirth, everything from postpartum hemorrhages to shoulder dystocia. The shoulder dystocia, okay. uh, quite often we see it and at times it becomes very fatal mm. because of lack of skills. So now that we, it has been demonstrated on how to deliver it, I will also try to impart the knowledge on my colleagues. It's estimated that up to 15% of all deliveries will have complications, no matter where a woman lives. But the level of care and skill in treating them can make all the difference. Then to realize the reality they work with and to realize how privileged we are in North America and we worry about such nitpicky things. Although these participants already have delivered many babies, they say this course provides a missing piece in their training. Our demonstrations <laughs> have helped a mm -hmm. lot, but when we want to teach our colleagues back, mm -hmm. we can go and we demonstrate. <laughs> the training also delves into the social and cultural practices that can be barriers to care. Giving the tools and training to those on the front lines will impact many lives, according to this Zimbabwean midwife. Well, it's, it has given me that empowerment, and it's also going to empower the woman on her rights mm -hmm. and the right care she should get. 